God is a solution-oriented God. He doesn't look at the problem and focuses on it and then is bogged down by the problem that he doesn't know what to do, like sometimes we humans do. No, he has solutions in mind. I, I, I wrote some books, you know, one book on blessing your children to succeed with a purpose of solution to how to raise children to be blessed, to become responsible citizens and godly people. Another one that was about finances with the purpose of giving solutions, how we can be successful with our money instead of becoming slaves to banks and, and to borrowers, but becoming really lenders and having more than enough in our lives as God has come to provide for us. And, and, and it doesn't happen without our labor and wise usage of the money that we have given. So I've given solutions how that can happen in that book on, on finances. The, the other book is on marriage. Uh, Liliana and I wrote a book called His and Her Cup of Love with the purpose of giving a solution for many married couples. First, how to find a spouse, how to become a good spouse, how to be a good spouse, how we can live in harmony and understanding with intimacy and love, and, and how we can grow and then affair-proof our marriages. There are all kinds of solutions in those books. But when you read in the Gospel of Luke, for example, you find how Jesus finds solutions for our lives. In chapter 4, verse eight, 18 and 19 of the Gospel of Luke, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. This is a quotation from Isaiah 61, 1 and 2. At the beginning, actually, of Jesus' ministry, He opened that scripture and read it. said this was fulfilled in His life today. Now, look at the solutions that He provides. He says that He is anointed Him. He has the anointing from God to do the following. What is it? To proclaim good news to the poor. So when there is poverty in your life or anybody else's life, the solution for that poverty is the gospel of Jesus Christ. All you and I need is to accept Jesus Christ and He is going to teach us a different lifestyle. I came from a very poor background, had hardly anything to eat. My father was a drunkard, gambler, and womanizer. But then I received the Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't drink, I didn't gamble, I didn't chase women. And God has provided for me that I always have enough food to eat. I don't have to worry about my life because I will not be squandering it in drinking and gambling and all kinds of other vices because Christ has entered in my life and He said, you shouldn't be living like that. You should abandon that lifestyle and now be committed to me. Give your tithes and offerings to me and then put double of whatever you give to me for your own future and you'll always have enough. So the solution for poverty is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Look what he says here, the solution is for captivity. The solution for captivity is liberty. God says that is solution. We need to set people free who are captive. That will be a solution for them. Being in jail is not a happy situation. So when somebody is freed up, his solution is that. Another one is blind. What is the solution for the blind? To provide sight to them it, so that they will be able to see. And God is there to help people with all kinds of physical ailments and needs, and He provides solution for them. In this case, sight. And also to provide liberty for the oppressed. Now, it's very interesting, you know. God is a God who is focused on solutions in our lives. What kind of problems are you dealing in your life? May I encourage you to go to the Anointed One, to the Lord Jesus Christ, because He has solution for your obstacle. He has solution for your problem. Instead of focusing and being bogged down and just thinking depressingly about your hard situation, come to the solution bringer. The guy and the Lord who will solve your problems. And, and 
get a different vision of your situation. Try seeing your life from His perspective. And God will help you come through it and become victorious into your life. So come to the Lord. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Give your heart to Him and seek solutions for whatever problems you face today and you will be more than a conqueror.